And new at 5.30, Detroit's top cop now responding to the so-called blue flight facing his department. It's a story we first broke last week about the number of Detroit police officers leaving town for higher paying jobs. Seven investigator Simon Shaket live on the city's west side with what Chief James Craig is saying about this disturbing trend. Simon. Glenda, Dave, so far this year, 133 police officers have left the city of Detroit. Many have crossed Eight Mile Road for better pay and benefits. While Detroit police officers leave the city for more money and improved benefits in other places, Chief James Craig is now speaking up about the issue. Especially when we talk about the zero to five year officers. I mean, we're as concerned about losing those officers as we are more tenured experience officers. Chief Craig is responding to the story we broke last week when Warren's chief admitted six of his newest hires came from Detroit. We're getting the cream of the crop. Some are leaving for more pay, uh, opportunities in other cities that have uh, better benefits, the no compete clause. I mean, that's a strategy that we're looking at. Commissioner Bill Dwyer says hires have anywhere from two to 19 years experience with DPD. Besides Warren, cities like Southfield and Taylor, as well as the Oakland County Sheriff's Office are all heavily recruiting in the city. Keep in mind, Detroit taxpayers also foot the bill for those officers to attend the police academy, something the chief has an issue with. It's unfair. You know, think about it. We're paying you, you're getting the training, you're getting certified by the state. While Chief Craig is still recruiting many new academy classes like this one, with base pay just under $18 an hour and fewer benefits, it's clear many don't see the move as long term. We're a city just went through bankruptcy. And so the mayor's committed as the city continues to turn around, uh, he's really committed to continuing to make sure officers are paid at market rate. Chief Craig says other cities are also making officers pay back the cost of the academy if they leave. We'll keep pursuing the mayor since he's the one managing the city's finances. So far, he's declined to talk or been simply unavailable for more than a week. Reporting live, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. Back to you. All right, Simon, thank you.